many fragrances I would get if I had to start all over again. Terry Hermes. This one is called Eau Fraiche, but I love the vetiver and the mineral note in it. It just smells so authentic and organic. Now, 20 years ago, I started working in a perfume store and I blind bought all my fragrances, but how did I know which ones to buy? Because dudes would come in and tell me, you got that Issey Miyake? You got that Aqua G Dio? So that's number 19 on the list. Issey Miyake, this is a Hall of Fame fragrance. It focuses on the Yutsu Lemon, more for you older dudes that might be watching this, but it does just, it lasts through time, like a timeless fragrance, it's lovely. And another one they used to always ask me for is Aqua Di Gio, but we're, this is an updated list, so I would recommend you get Aqua Di Gio Profumo. This fragrance is massive, like dangerous. My friend wore this the first time about a couple years ago and went to this restaurant with his wife and the women would come up to him while he's sitting on the bar stool and say, excuse me, can I know what your husband is wearing? It's like that kind of fragrance. The next one is a little bit expensive, rem reminding you that I am focusing on being nice to your wallet, but the first few, not so bad, but Dior Intense is about an 80 to $100 fragrance. Focuses on iris with cacao and pear. It's an artisanal masterpiece. You can get this one called Dior Homme Parfum. This one's like the hidden gem rare now. It used to be pretty affordable, like 80 bucks is what I paid for it. I looked it up recently, it's two, three hundred dollars, but oh my God, what a delicious fragrance. Now we move into some up-to-date fragrances like 2022. I really like Paco Rabanne Phantom. I know a lot of people don't, but for the youthful crowd, 18 years of age, North Carolina people, I know you're watching because I see you beat out South Carolina. You might li like this. It apple, smoke, vanilla, and apple again all together. And I love how long it lasts. It's sweet, but it's fun to wear. And another one is similar to Coraban Invictus Victory. This is the up-to-date Invictus. Just smells really good. And then you have Cur Excess by Paco Rabanne. When you want cinnamon and liquor and vanilla mixed together that lasts and lasts and projects like a crazy beast, like you'll get noticed. This thing lasts 10 hours at least on my skin. Pure Excess Paco Rabanne. Then we move on for that boozy note. Halloween Man X is a very, very affordable fragrance that focuses on a coffee note mixed with whiskey. Whiskey coffee, isn't that cool? And it smells good because it has lavender, so you're clean whiskey coffee. It's very easy to wear, you get lots of compliments. And right off the bat, you smell that little sprinkle of coffee mixed with that little sprinkle of whiskey. Here's one for the hot summer days. You just can't go wrong. It's the most sold fragrance on Amazon, Nautica Voyage. A simple, easy to wear aquatic. I even wore it to the gym and got compliments because it gives you a nice mild projection. Then you have this. This is called Bleu de Chanel. This is simply a Hall of Fame fragrance as ginger and citruses and the women love it. As we move on towards the end of the list, I'm gonna show you what you should buy for hidden gems that are like not really talked about, but very good. And at the very end, I'll give you some clone fragrances as a bonus for watching through the end. By the way, we're giving away the new subscriber. He just subscribed on April 16th, Ray Skywalker. You get a whole brand new bottle of Nautica Life. If you want a bottle of Nautica Life, comment down below what city you're from. I'll send you one too. Maybe I'll send two of you one. Maybe I'll send you a whole box of fragrances. I feel crazy today. Next fragrance you should get is called Dior Sauvage. Now back in the day when I was blind buying, I wish I would have bought anything. My friend told me to buy this, but I didn't listen to him. I was the guy who bought Isimiyaki, Aqua Di Gio, and Carolina Herrera 212. Those were my staples. And then I played around blind buying Jeffrey Bean and Sonia Riquel. I made some mistakes, but I learned a lot during the way. My focus, my expertise is in designer fragrances and upper end designer fragrances with a sprinkle of niche. That's what I'm 25 years experience of. And here's another one, designer fragrance. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Forever. I personally like the smell better than the intense, but some of the women in the high, high heat often will choose the intense Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense over this, but this one's very modern. They're not ready for it yet, maybe, who knows, but it smells like fresh squeezed grape juice and it lasts eight hours. And then if you want an all around batter that's so easy to wear, Azaro's Wanted. This one doesn't get too much love on the internet, but it's lots of sales and I recommend it. It's a boozy fragrance that lasts all day. It's loud and it gets you noticed. If you want something very easy to wear, 
Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. It has lavender and sandalwood and it's fresh. And it kind of reminds me of Invictus, the aqua version. So it's an aquatic freshie. It's very, very cheap too. So it's very nice on your wallet. And if you're going to go for something like you're the guy who's trendy, you like to think outside of the box, so to speak, and you want to be different, slightly dark, slightly mysterious. Encre Noir by Lalique. Encre Noir means dark ink and you'll have some nice green notes and vetiver and dark notes all mixed together with this is what they call a niche frame into a designer label that they could probably charge a lot more for it but move on to this fragrance this is the hidden gem section the mercedes benz line these are great fragrances i'm gonna tell you something else i was at tj max marshall's no offense if anybody shops there and i noticed some people just blind grabbing something and I almost said something, like, what are you doing? And I seen him, he looked at the price, it said $19.99, a piece of junk fragrance. And the other person was buying something $24.99, another garbage fragrance. Don't go to TJ Maxx and pick up something that's $19.99, $24.99 before you come see me or any other of these YouTubers that talk about designer fragrances because we all know what we're talking about pretty much, okay? And TJ Maxx, they have old, stale fragrances, dented boxes, and then mine, my experience, I never find anything good, but check these out. You can buy these on Mercedes-Benz Addictive Oriental. Alberto Morias made this. It does last five hours and it kind of smells like Versace Eros. It's a masterpiece fragrance. He also made this fragrance. Black Leather. This one is the sexiest, most complimented. Women will compliment you on this. It's got suede, some citrus, and some leather notes, a little bit of incense. It's ultimately, get these two fragrances, huge centro when you're walking around oh yeah and then the the most hyped mercedes-benz fragrance i've ever seen hyped like you never known is mercedes-benz black just think about the word black vanilla and then that's what you got here it's just wear it in a cold weather hot weather. starting my fragrance collection i was recommended these two fragrances and that's back in the day but I could still recommend them today for someone who's just beginning. This is Fahrenheit. It has violet notes. It kind of has this NASCAR smell to it, like a race car enthusiast would like to smell, like the gasoline. If you're at a race, this has that vibe to it. It's not bad. It does project. It's a little bit mature, in my opinion, though. And then Cool Water, which kind of smells like something called tree, green Irish tweed, but this is an aquatic freshie with green notes and some herbal notes and some slight touches of mint and now you made it to our bonus section yay the clone section that's called rmf hunter not now hunter smells like la coste blanc la coste blanc is now off market kind of and the prices are 60 70 80 dollars 3.4 where last four years ago they were 20 30 40 dollars so this is still $20 and gives you the same effect. Then I could tell you to get Club de Nuit Intense. What is that? Well, that's a fragrance that smells like Creta Ventus. At this one, another Mercedes-Benz fragrance. This is so cool. This is advanced information. This is just called Cologne. It's the blue juice. Mercedes-Benz Cologne in the blue juice bottle. Don't forget the photo of this. It smells like Dior Homme Cologne, but at a fraction of the price. You know, this is like $40. Smell so good and easy to wear, you'll just love it. And the best one that you should buy for the strongest, most up-to-date, Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Now the price has dropped. So now this is like $80, 4.2. I'm gonna put the links for most of these down below so you can check them out. And if you wanted the cone for that, you gotta get this one. It's called 9 p.m. It actually outlasts it. It costs half the price. So strong, you might get sick. If you enjoyed this video and want to see other videos like this, I'm Uncle Chris. I'll recommend you that one. But YouTube does a better job and they want you to watch this one. So click on one of those. Peace and love. See you later. Don't forget, I want to give away some fragrances and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. If you comment, you never know. If you subscribe, you never know what's going to happen.